You don't have to eat at an outdoor cafe overlooking the Mediterranean Sea to get the health benefits of the Mediterranean diet. In fact, I'm going to give you seven Mediterranean diet tips so that you can get started today. I'm Jill Castle. I'm a pediatric dietitian and the founder of this channel and the Nurse Child website, a parent education place for you to learn more about feeding kids and nourishing them inside and out. Did you know that in 2021, the Mediterranean diet was ranked the number one plant-based diet and the easiest heart healthy diet to put in place? That's exactly what we're talking about today. In fact, I'm going to cover four main areas in this video. I'm going to define what the Mediterranean diet is, whether it's safe for children, I'll cover the Mediterranean diet pyramid, and last I'm going to give you seven tips to help you get started with a Mediterranean diet in your home today. You need to know this information because it is a healthy eating pattern for adults and kids alike. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried the Mediterranean diet before. I'd love to hear about it. And keep listening to the end so that you get all seven tips so that you can get started with your family today. If you haven't uh, subscribed to this channel before, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you get notice, notified every time I release a new video, which is about once a week, give or take here and there. You'll always get content from me about kids' nutrition, child feeding, growth and development, infants, toddlers, kids, and teens. So let's get going. So what is the Mediterranean diet? It's a traditional diet and it's been based uh, on the eating patterns of people who live in Spain, Italy, Greece, and France. So if you've ever been to any of those countries, you know that the food, oh gosh, so delicious and fresh and local and wholesome. And there's not a lot of processed foods there. There's not a lot of foods that come out of boxes and cans. Um, and so that is really um, that hinge of the Mediterranean diet, it relies on unprocessed, wholesome foods. You will see foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts and seeds, low fat dairy, fish, plant oils, and minimal amounts of red meat, sweets and treats like soda and candy and processed sweet foods, and desserts. The Mediterranean diet really hinges on those whole unprocessed foods that make up a well-balanced diet. And let's not forget the beans because since we're not using a lot of red meat in this diet, we replace it with all kinds of legumes and beans. Red wine is part of the Mediterranean diet. Obviously, we're not giving that to our children, but for moms and dads out there, red wine is part of a healthy Mediterranean diet. You might want to know what the benefits of following a Mediterranean diet plan is, and it really boils down to it being a plant-based diet, which we know is really healthy for everyone. And I actually did a video on plant-based eating for kids, so you can always hop over after this video and check that one out. We also know that the research on the Mediterranean diet indicates that people live longer. So you're living healthier, you're living longer. That's a great thing, not a bad idea. Is the Mediterranean diet safe for kids? Yes, it is. But I want to go a little deeper on this because oftentimes you might hear out there that diets are not good for kids. And when people say diets aren't good for kids, they're really referring to those weight reducing diets, diets that restrict calories or nutrients in order to produce weight loss. We don't advise those for children. Now, because the Mediterranean diet is a health promoting diet, we do advise that for families and for children. It's perfectly safe. It's not a traditional diet when you think about losing weight. Uh, those are no bueno for children. Now, what is the Mediterranean diet pyramid? 
So back in 1993, Harvard University, the World Health Organization, and Old Ways partnered to come up with a Mediterranean diet pyramid. So before we had my plate, which is the round plate with the glass as our icon for a healthy balanced eating pattern, we had the pyramid. And then the pyramid went away and we adopted this new icon called my plate. Well, Harvard, the World Health Organization and Old Ways used the conventional pyramid shape to help uh, give us an icon or a visual of what that healthy Mediterranean diet would look like. Now, on the base of the pyramid, the widest part of the pyramid, you're going to find things like whole grains, plant oils, fruits, and vegetables. This is the anchor of a Mediterranean diet. This is what mostly, if you look at the balance of all the different foods, this is mostly what we should be eating. What is also different about the Mediterranean diet pyramid is that protein foods are separated out. So you'll have dairy foods and they'll call out low fat dairy foods um, and you'll have meats separated out. Red meat is actually at the top of the pyramid because we want to eat fewer sources of red meat. But in the middle of the pyramid, the protein sources are identified as fish, beans, uh, lean, uh, lean meats like poultry and eggs. And those are sort of making up the middle section of that pyramid. And as I mentioned, red meats at the very top of the pyramid alongside potatoes, white grains like white bread or white pasta, and sweets and treats. So things like dessert, candy, cake, cookies, those you're gonna find at the top of the pyramid. The top of the pyramid means eat fewer of these foods and the base of the pyramid, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and those plant oils, we wanna eat more of those foods. I have a picture of the Mediterranean diet pyramid over on my website. Check it out on the link above here where you can go and take a peek at it. It's pretty interesting. It's, um, it'll give you a really good sense of how to balance all the different foods in your family's diet. All right, so let's get to seven tips for starting the Mediterranean diet with your family. Number one, eat plant foods every day. So work in those whole grains, those fruits, those vegetables. Use whole foods that you can get in the grocery store or at the farm or at the farm stand or even grow yourself. Those plants, plant foods like fruits and vegetables and whole grains are going to be that anchor of the Mediterranean diet. An easy tip, add fruit and vegetables to each and every meal and snack. It'll help you ramp up the overall whole food content of the diet and get you closer to that Mediterranean diet. Number two, buy seasonally fresh or locally produced and minimally processed foods. Whew, that was a mouthful. Um, whatever's in season, that's gonna be an easy way for you to adopt uh, the Mediterranean diet. Also though, don't forget frozen foods. Frozen foods are oftentimes uh, picked and flash frozen right away so that they maintain all their nutrients and are a great substitute, especially during those winter months where you can't get locally grown farm fresh fruits and vegetables. And if you're a family that can't uh, fit those fresh fruits and vegetables into your budget, Frozen foods are, frozen fruits and vegetables are a great affordable opportunity as a substitute. Number three, swap out your fats. So bye bye lard, bye bye butter. It's time to put olive oil in your pantry and other plant oils. They will provide some of those omega-3 fatty acids, which we know are heart healthy for the whole family. Number four, eat fish twice a week if you can. Again, fish in the Mediterranean is abundant and it is eaten a lot. Um, here in the United States, we have 
parts of our geography where fresh fish isn't as readily available and can be cost prohibited, but we do have things like canned tuna and canned salmon, frozen shrimp, uh, frozen cod. So don't forget those options. On the Mediterranean diet plan, fish is one of the primary sources of protein. Number five, serve fruit as a dessert. So we know that at the top of the pyramid, sweets and treats are foods that we wanna have minimally. But I also know that kids like something sweet and me personally, it seems like every time I have a meal, I want just a little bit of sweetness. So for children, they love fruit for the most part and you can offer fruit with a meal or you can tack it onto the end of the meal as a dessert. One of my favorite desserts for my children when they were growing up was just chopped up fruit like sliced strawberries or a small bowl of blueberries with a dollop of Cool Whip on top. Good dessert. Number six, scale back on red meat. As I mentioned, red meat is not eliminated on the Mediterranean diet. However, it is minimally consumed. In fact, it's recommended that red meat be consumed only a few times per month. What you can do to get those essential nutrients like iron and zinc and vitamin B12, which we find readily in red meat, you can also get those from beans. So you can start to play around with substituting beans uh, in dishes that you might want to make with meat. And last, dairy products in moderation. Again, we're not taking them out of the diet, but we are focusing on lower fat dairy products. So you're going to want to substitute those high fat cheeses for lower fat cheeses, um, like a cheddar cheese for a Parmesan cheese, for example. And you're going to want to also substitute out those sugary yogurts um, and get a plain yogurt instead and add fresh fruit. Some of my favorite pantry staples that will help you get to that Mediterranean diet faster are things like canned tomatoes, canned beans, olives, my favorite, and olive oil. All right, everyone, that's it for today. I hope this was helpful to you and that you can get started on adopting a Mediterranean diet for your entire family. You literally could start tonight. If you liked this video, let me know. Give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Until next time, we'll see ya.